Hello Taurus and welcome to your September 2020 future love reading. This is for Taurus. Taurus, you can now follow me on Instagram, on Facebook, and on Twitter, and I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box. All right, Taurus, this is for you. We're going to see what's going on with your future love. This is for Taurus. What is going on with their future love? What is going on with their future love? Okay, we have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. And we have past life relationship. You have known each other before. So very strong connection here. Um, have shared lives with each other. Your souls are intertwined. So that's very, very good. And there's that passion and attraction, right? So let's see where this is going, Taurus. This is for Taurus. For their future love reading. If this resonates with you, Taurus, please like, share, and subscribe. And leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Taurus, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign as this will not resonate with every Taurus out there. Please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. So however it resonates with you, this is for Taurus. What is going on with their future love? What is going on with their future love? Okay. Okay. Okay, so I feel like you've actually dealt with this person in this lifetime already. So this is a past person from this lifetime and previous lifetimes. That's what I want to say. I feel like they want to work on the situation with you. We got the three of three of pentacles here. This is earth energy. So they're having to admire you, I feel like, from a little bit of a distance. They've kind of put you up on this pedestal here. They got a bit of an obsession brewing here. Very strong attraction. So that's interesting. But I feel like you've blocked this individual. And I feel, and they feel, uh, there's a big chance you're going to reject their offer. But they do want to work on the situation here. They want to fix the situation with this Three of Pentacles, right? You may be dealing with a water sign or somebody with strong water in their chart. So they um, feel like they have, I feel like they've taken a step back here, Taurus, and they feel like they have grown spiritually and emotionally. And with this card, male or female, very intuitive person, and they feel like uh, they're ready now. They're ready for more with you. They're ready to reconnect. And I feel like they still have a lot of love for you. They still very much care about you. All right, so let's see where this is going. You're going to be hearing from this individual, but they know that there's a strong, strong uh, chance that you're going to reject them because you guys have, you know, you've got history. Um, whatever happened here, um, they feel like you're, you're still kind of concentrating on that. They are still thinking about you. Um, so it's kind of like no matter what they try or who they try to move on with, it's just, it's not working. Um, it's not you. Okay. It's, it's simply not you. They, I feel like this person has tried to move on from you, but it just doesn't, it always comes back to you, Taurus. So you're going to be hearing from this individual with this page of wands. They are going to be reaching out. Passionate communication here fire energy. I feel like this person has been in um, the shadows a little bit. Like I said, they've been trying to move on and I feel like they've been trying to explore new energies, but not working. And I do feel like they have very deep hidden emotion for you still. Like they still care. They still love you. Um, so you could be dealing with a Pisces or somebody with strong Pisces in their chart. So they just been kind of um, 
I want to say trying to suppress their emotions for for a while, but it's it's just not it's just not working. Right? It's just not working. So Let's see where this is going, Taurus. I'm going to read the energies of the cards here. If the sign of the person that you are dealing with, have dealt with, or will be dealing with in the future, if their sign pops up, all the better. Keep in mind, time is fluid, right? So you could be dealing with this right now in the future, right? It's a future love read. Cross watchers, keep in mind that some of these energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. It is a general reading, so you assign the roles as you wish, but couple things with this card. I feel like um, the two of you haven't talked in a while. I feel like um, you maybe have blocked them. Maybe they even blocked you at some point. But um, they, they're ready to fight for the connection, right? They just don't know how you're feeling about it. They've tried to bury their emotions for you, but it just, it always, it always comes back. Um, so seven of wands here. This is somebody in the warrior's pose and they want to fight. They want to fight for the connection still. They do. Um, but you may be standing your ground on this one and not allowing them back in. This person has a bit of an obsession with you. Um, still very attracted to you. They still think about you and, and have since, since the two of you, um, stopped talking, split up, broke up, whatever you want to say. Um, a lot of hidden feelings for you here and, and I, it is an obsession. I feel like it is, they are obsessed with you here with this devil card. You could be dealing with a Capricorn or somebody with strong Capricorn in their chart. So they're going to be coming forward with apologies or offers, very emotional, um, communication as well. Like I said, you're going to be hearing from this person. So they still want to offer you their heart, but they don't know if you will uh, receive it. They don't know if they will be well received because here's the offer. Here's the offer. And then there's you, right? Um, focusing on all these empty cups. So this person um, has a fear of rejection here. They're going to try it anyway. But they know that you may not be very accepting of them, right, with this uh, Four of Cups. So a lot of water energy here. Deep emotion for you. All right, let's see what else we've got. Look, another offer. It's going to be sincere. And like I said, this person has taken their time. I really do feel like they've tried to move on from you. It doesn't work. So it's been a while since you heard from him, but you get all these knights coming towards you from this person so offers it's very sincere they want to come to you the right way um but they don't know if you'll be very accepting it's been a while it's been a while knight of pinnacles that is earth energy any more information for taurus in regards to their future love what is going on with their future love this is for taurus what is going on with their future love yeah they want to fight for their happiness they want to move past any toxicity another 10 oh my god okay so uh, more pages more nights they're coming towards you hardcore so there was a tower moment here between the two of you there was an ending and i feel like this person kind of um took stock of themselves i want to say and they have grown from this experience. They have spiritually and emotionally matured with that King of Cups there. But um, they want to fix this. They want to work on this. They want to start. Um, they want to start in a very sincere and grounded way, so that you know nothing can shake the two of you. And I feel like they they regret um, the ending that happened. They didn't really want it in the first place. Um, but it did happen, you know, and um, they've been really trying to suppress, suppress those emotions. But, you, you know, whoever they have tried to move on with, it just doesn't work. It's just not you. It's just not you. So they want to fight for their happiness with you. They want... Um, this right here and not only the ten of cups but the ten of pentacles so this is very strong commitment they want to commit fully and completely to you 
and um, they want to be happy and blessed and abundant with you here, Taurus. So happy partnership, happy home, right? Happy family. They want it all. They want it all with you, Taurus. Um, Ten of Cups, that's water energy. So they want to move past any kind of toxicity here, any kind of past negative energy. They want to move on from that and they want a victory here. Okay, so they are, you could be dealing with a cancer or somebody with strong cancer in their chart, but they just want to move past the past and they want to start uh, real. Um, with that Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, all this communication, they're coming towards you in a very genuine and sincere way. You may not see it that way, but that's how they want to come towards you and that's how they want to be received by you. Ten of Pentacles, this is of course earth energy. Um, they're looking for to they're looking to be with you for Ever. Okay, so this is very grounded. They want to stabilize the situation, right? So if, if somebody else tries to interfere or there's trouble between the two of you, nothing can, nothing can shake this. They want something solid, something grounded. They want to settle down. They want forever here with you, Taurus, and all these beautiful blessings, right? And family and friends and just happiness. So... Page of Cups, right? Another, another offer, right? Another right here. Here it is. Here it is. Um, so they're hoping that you will receive them. They're, they're hoping that you're going to listen. They're hoping that you will respond, but they know that there's a big chance that you won't, but they're going to try anyway. Why? Because they can't shake you and they can't shake you, Taurus. Because the soul, your your souls are connected with this past life relationship, so you're intertwined here. Now you you Taurus may be saying, "I've spent enough lifetimes with this person," right? But they, on the other hand, they can't they can't shake that soul connection that they have with you. So you're going to definitely be hearing from them. I got a lot of pages, a lot of nights, lots of communication, lots of offers coming towards you from this person. They want to fix the tower moment that the two of you had together. And that past life connection, they can't shake it. They, they want to spend this lifetime with you um, as well. All right, Taurus, that is your future love reading. I hope it resonates with some of you, most of you, all of you. Like I said at the beginning of the video, you can now follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box. Please do follow the links that I provide because there are some imposters out there. Um, next week, Taurus, I'm going to be working on something a little different, a little bonus, because I have a little extra time to um, do a little something special. I've done it before, and you guys kind of like it, so we're going to do it again. Uh, I do it just about once a year. Um, for the Taurus people that are new to the channel, welcome. I do have a weekly schedule and I do have a live schedule. The weekly schedule will let you know when your weekly reading will be released. And the live schedule, um, I usually go live every day but Saturday around noon Eastern Standard Time. So Taurus, that is what we have for you. And I hope you have enjoyed it. And I hope you're taking very good care of yourself and you have a really beautiful week. Stay happy and healthy out there, and I will talk to you all very, very soon. God bless.